Uh, this is for pretty much all you guys. Um, do you guys feel that you guys are, and you can answer with respect to the side of the ball that you're on, but do you guys feel that you guys are in a good place heading into the Big Ten opener against Wisconsin, or do, is there still stuff that you guys need to work on? Um, you know, there's always stuff we can work on. I think um, you saw that how we started the third quarter there. Um, two fumbles, a punt, and, you know, it's, it's a horrible way to start the half. It doesn't matter. If you're winning, losing, I mean, we play like that, how we did to start the half, we're not going to win games. So I think there's a lot to work on. Um, but uh, they came out ready to go in the second half, and we didn't. So I think there's one thing. Yeah, there's always room to improve. Um, once we get on the film, we'll see exactly what areas we need to improve at. Um, but defensively, I think it was more of a confidence boost today, and uh, and we just need to take that momentum into the into Big Ten. Yeah, I mean, I think Clayton said it. Uh, we came out kind of dead in the uh, second half, and, you know, that's definitely something we need to work on. But uh, with how we play today, it's definitely a little bit of a confidence boost, something that we needed, especially after last week. Uh, but, you know, there's always room for improvement. Uh, Garrett, so your career high receiving yards coming into the game was 46, uh, 150 tonight. Uh, where 46. <laughs> Where, where did that come from? Was that part of the game plan? Was that just what the defenses were giving you? Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Um, yeah, well, I wouldn't have had any of that without our O-line and without Clayton, so, you know, shout out them. But, um, you know, a lot of it was with what the defense was giving to us. You know, we saw some checks, things like that, decided to run a couple different plays. Um, you know, it's just it's my opportunity to make a play. You know, I was just trying to do my best to go out and do that. But, uh, you know, without Clayton putting it on me, you know, it wouldn't be the same way. Clayton, obviously, tough game last week. But was there a point tonight when you kind of felt that you were back on or that, you know, you were going to have a, a good outing tonight? Uh, you know, I think, you always, or at least I do. I don't know about other quarterbacks. You always go into a game thinking you're going to do well and feeling, I mean, that's the goal. And if you go in timid, then you're going to do poorly. Um, you know, I felt confident going last week against Duke, and obviously didn't get it done. Um, but yeah, you know, I felt confident going into tonight. Um, knew um, knew we'd be able to move the ball, and, and you know, they did, they made a few plays early on and in the second half as well. But uh, our receivers did a great job catching the ball. O line did great. Uh, I think that first both of those sacks were on me. One of them just. Busted play, um, so I just got to get the ball in my hands on those two, but they played great all night. Um, after, I, after the weeks one two, do you, I guess this is for any of you, but um, do, do you feel like there's going to be a mood shift in the locker room to have a win like this after the first two games were obviously both of them very different from this performance? I mean, yeah, it's definitely a high to feel – you know, coming off a great win, going to the locker room, being confident like that. But, uh, you know, we got to respond whether we do poorly the week before or whether we do great the week before. Um, we need to treat the next game like it's our like, like it's our Super Bowl. We got to treat the, every week like that, and it's going to be important to respond to positivity. You know, we can't we can't uh, dial it down. You know. Uh, Tyler, for the defensive line as a whole, it seemed like a little bit more push. Um, but Fitz was saying still room to improve for you guys. Where, What are the areas that you can focus on to continue to get more pressure on the quarterback? <clears throat> yeah. Um, so Coach Hank came in with a great game plan this week. We uh, we brought some more pressure, and, you know, that helped some guys get loose and some guys get in the backfield. But, um, you know, winning our one-on-ones is the most important thing, you know. Uh, one of the defensive linemen is going to get a double team, and the other three are probably get one-on-ones. And if we could keep for, uh, working on that and focusing on that, then that'll be key. But, uh, I mean, if we can't get off those one-on-one -on -one blocks, then we won't be back there. So. Uh, Tyler, this was probably the best game um, this young group of linebackers has played um, all season. Um, does that uh, – did that – did they really seem to turn a corner this week in practice that allowed um, uh, Hankwitz and others to sort of allow you to blitz more and allow you to apply more pressure? Because um, the coverage was pretty good for the linebackers this week, I thought. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, the linebackers flying around behind us is really is what gets us going, you know. Um, there were times where uh, Patty came downhill so hard that the double team on me came off and I was able to make a play. But, um, you know, we came into the week knowing we needed to get more pressure. Um, bringing four wasn't doing it uh, for the first two weeks. And the, the young linebackers really brought it well. And it helps us play a lot better. Clayton, your, your two touchdown throws to Skoranek, one a, a deep ball where he beat a man, the other where he had to fight off a man in the end zone. How did that sort of show his skill set and your growing trust with him? Yeah, I, I think especially the one, um, back shoulder one, to, I don't know how long it was, but it was shorter than the other one. Um, he does that all the time in practice. And I, I remember his true freshman year, he caught a ball over – Someone in seven on seven, Anthony Walker came up to me. He was like, "This guy's gonna be really good." He even said, "He goes, he's the best guy on the roster right now." We had Austin too, and we were like, "All right, Anthony, let's <laughs> chill out." But um, but uh, we've been seeing that since his true freshman year, and uh, it's great to see him have success. You know, I finally hit him for a touchdown. Missed him last year at Iowa, um, so so it's fun to see him do well. On that topic, can you also go through the the first one, the bomb down the down the sideline? Yeah, I think just like you said, he, he beat him deep, and um, yeah, that's re pretty much all that happened. It was great, great job by him getting separation. Anything else for this group, guys? All right, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. For Godwin, um, the fumble return. Um, I know you played running back in high school. Did that bring back any memories of that? It did. You know, as soon as I picked it up, I had some flashbacks. I had to remember what I have done. And so, I, you know, I picked it up. I made a little cut there, a little jig there. I thought I had the hole. You know, somebody got me from behind, but it felt good. Jeez. <laughs> uh, Bennett, your first two touchdowns of your career tonight. Uh, can you kind of just take us through those two plays, uh, what your goal is to do on each of those routes and the, the challenges that the defense might have presented? Yeah, um, you know, our O-line, they blocked great. They gave Clayton great time back there. Um, the first, they wrote just go routes um, down the sidelines. So Clayton threw perfect balls both, both times. So credit goes to Clayton and the O-line, um, really. For uh, Bennett, ben. um, how different was the feeling on the sideline this week versus last week to have, have the offense running versus last week with the difficulties? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, when the offense is converting, um, when things are working, you know, the sideline, the energy is going to be there. Um, so, you know, this week it was great. It was a great way um, we responded. We had a great week of practice um, all week, probably the best week of practice we've had since I've been here. So um, really all those things combined, you know, the energy on the sideline was, was just great. Um, it, you know, it was fun playing tonight. Uh, Bennett, uh, how has your rapport grown with Clayton over the past couple of years? Um, you know, we've only been together for about a year now, a little over a year. So, you know, we've just been watching extra film together, um, really just building that relationship. Um, it's, you know, it starts – Starts in the off season, um, you know all the receivers, um, the super backs, running backs. You know we we put we put work in in the off season, um, getting together four or five times a week to throw. Um, so really just you know that chemistry. You know um, it helps when when you've been doing it together for a, for a long time. God, when the secondary's been pretty banged up, um, struggled last week. Obviously, what did you see from? from your unit today it was encouraging and what was the game plan against Bowling Green that seemed to work pretty well? Uh, yeah, I mean, we faced some adversity. Um, I think it's it was cool because we are pretty deep. We came into the season really deep, and that paid off because if that wasn't the case, I think it would be pretty bad. But we still got veterans back there. We still got guys like Kyle, you know, Jared, Montre, Trey, who's had a year of experience as well, uh, myself. We got a lot of young guys who are talented, got some action today. Um, so I think they're doing a great job of bouncing back and just fighting through. 
and just trying to remain the Sky team, trying to still make plays, trying to still be the energy and be uh, just the light for that D. I went, uh, so you've got Wisconsin in two weeks. Uh, their quarterback today went 18 of 19. Like, what do you have to do to get ready to play them? Well, I think it starts with another great week or two of practice, like Ben said. Um, last week we had a great week of practice. Um, did a great job film study. And the film study is going to be big. Preparation is going to be big. Wisconsin has a great team, great O, great D. Obviously, like you said, their quarterback's doing a great job. So it's a challenge. It's a great challenge. That's why we play, right? You know, going into Big Ten, we're excited, ready to have a party, ready to have fun. So, you know, obviously attacking the week, attacking next week as well, and uh, seeing what we can do from there. Uh, Godwin, or both of you guys, I guess Godwin more as a more experienced player, going into uh, an atmosphere like Wisconsin, you, you played, at, played at Duke, not the most raucous atmosphere, but what are some of the things you're going to share with some of the younger guys who maybe haven't played in a Big Ten atmosphere like that uh, to get them ready for that game? Uh, I mean, I think it's important to, to stay engaged. I think it's actually harder to go to a place like Duke where there's, you know, limited fans. Um, it's hard to get juice, it's hard to get riled up. So, you know, going to a place like Wisconsin, I mean, it's one of the best stadiums to go to. I think it's an opportunity, honestly, um, bringing, you know, limited guys and going there strong. Every guy's got to be ready to play. Everybody's got to be locked in and engaged and, um, just using using the energy, using everything inside of there to our advantage. Else? Uh, for for Bennett, on I think both the touchdowns you had single coverage there, just kind of one one guy to beat. Your eyes sort of light up there where you go. There's just one guy. It's one on one. I've got to beat this guy, and I score there. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, as a receiver, when you see that, uh, you know, it just gets, gets down to competition, um, competing. Uh, it's, it's you versus a man across from you um, who's going to win. So, uh, you know, J Justin, um, JJ, he opens up that, those opportunities for us. Our O-line does. Um, and our running game, I think we ran over 300 yards today. So um, that's why we have those one-on-one -on -one matchups, because of our run game. All set? All right, thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah.